The National Museum of China Chinese, Zhangguo Guo Jia Bo Wu Guan Pinyin, Zhangguo Guo Jia Bo Yugan flanks the eastern side of Tiananmen Square in Beijing, China. The museum's mission is to educate about the arts and history of China. It is directed by the Ministry of Culture of the People's Republic of China. It is one of the largest museums in the world, and with over 8 million visitors in 2017, the National Museum of China was the second most visited art museum in the world, just after the Louvre. History The museum was established in 2003 by the merging of the two separate museums that had occupied the same building since 1959, the Museum of the Chinese Revolution in the Northern Wing originating in the office of the National Museum of the Revolution founded in 1950 to preserve the legacy of the 1949 revolution and the National Museum of Chinese History in the Southern Wing with origins in both the Beijing National History Museum, founded in 1949, and the preliminary office of the National History Museum, founded in 1912, tasked to safeguard China's larger historical legacy. The building was completed in 1959 as one of the ten great buildings celebrating the ten-year anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. It complements the opposing Great Hall of the People that was built at the same time. The structure sits on 6.5 hectares, 16 acres, and has a frontal length of 313 meters, 1027 feet, a height of 4 stories totaling 40 meters, 130 feet, and a width of 149 meters, 489 feet. The front displays 10 square pillars at its center. After four years of renovation, the museum reopened on March 17, 2011, with 28 new exhibition halls, more than triple the previous exhibition space, and state-of-the-art exhibition and storage facilities. It has a total floor space of nearly 200,000 square meters 2.2 million square feet to display. The renovations were designed by the German firm Gherkin, Marg & Partners. Collections The museum, covering Chinese history from the Yuan Mu Man of 1.7 million years ago to the end of the Qing dynasty the last imperial dynasty in Chinese history, has a permanent collection of 1,050,000 items, with many precious and rare artifacts not to be found in museums anywhere else in China or the rest of the world. Among the most important items in the National Museum of China are the Simuwu Ding. From the Shang Dynasty, the heaviest piece of ancient bronzeware in the world, at 832.84 kg, the square-shaped Shang Dynasty bronze zun decorated with four sheep heads, a large and rare inscribed Western Zhou Dynasty bronze water pan, a gold inlaid Qin Dynasty bronze tally in the shape of a tiger, Han Dynasty jade burial suits sewn with gold thread, and a comprehensive collection of Tang Dynasty tri-colored glazed sansai and Song Dynasty ceramics. The museum also has an important numismatic collection, including 15,000 coins donated by Luo Bajiao. The museum has a permanent exhibition called The Road to Rejuvenation, which details the glorious course of achieving national prosperity and fully reveals how the people chose Marxism, the Communist Party of China, socialism, and the reform policy. It attests to the Chinese priority of holding high the socialism and of remaining firmly committed to the Chinese socialist road and theory. Gallery Countdown clocks Because of its central location in Tiananmen Square, the front of the museum has been used since the 1990s for the display of countdown clocks relating to occasions of national importance, including the 1997 transfer of sovereignty of Hong Kong, the 1999 transfer of sovereignty of Macau, the beginning of the 2008 Beijing Olympics, and the opening of the 2010 World Expo in Shanghai. Controversies A three-month exhibition of the luxury brand Louis Vuitton in 2011 led to some complaints of commercialism at the museum, with Peking University professor Sha Shuiluan stating that as a state-level public museum, it should in fact only be dedicating itself to non-profit cultural promotion. 
However Yves Carcel, chairman and chief executive officer of Louis Vuitton Maladier defended the exhibition by stating, "...what's important is what you are going to discover. I think before money, there's history, 157 years of creativity and craftsmanship." Some critics have also alleged the museum's modern historiography tends to focus on the triumphs of the Communist Party, while minimizing or ignoring politically sensitive subjects such as the Great Leap Forward and the Cultural Revolution. See also List of most visited art museums List of museums in China Forbidden City National Palace Museum State Administration of Cultural Heritage Ministry of Culture Bibliography <inaudible> 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 Kirk A. Denton, Exhibiting the Past, Historical Memory and the Politics of Museums in Postsocialist China University of Hawaii Press, 2014, pp. 33-39, 45-74.